it's Anne from the Useless Crafter and today we're going to be putting together Buddy the Elf. Um, it's going to be an off the mat project where we're assembling it. Um, and before we get started though, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I really appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, so I ran into something really funny or really odd doing this project. So I, um, you know, cut him like I normally do, right? Um, the design space tutorial is already up and available. Um, I'm just gonna take this off for a second. We're gonna put the black background together and then I'm gonna show you the craziness that occurred. <laughs> so let me move all these pieces um, and I'm gonna just keep the head together because, or the face. Like how cute that is, it's gonna be so fun. Okay, so here is our black background, missing, minus the head. Here are our four pieces, right? Um, part of why I like using the grid of squares, my SVG file, which you can get on my website, theuselesscrafter.com, or if you don't wanna pay for it, you can subscribe to the newsletter and it would be free. The free version, or they're both the same version, but if you're going to go the free route, what happens is when you uh, select that you're going to subscribe, you'll get an email that says, yes, confirm this, and then you'll get an email that gives you the code to purchase it. To purchase it. So um, then you'll go back, you'll put in the code, it'll turn into uh, zero dollars that for you to check out. All right, uh, I know that's confusing. So um, anyway, Part of why I like the grid of squares is because we're trying to make something big, right? Obviously, we couldn't cut these four pieces on together. We had to slice it up into four pieces and um, make it fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So why I like the grid of squares is the four corners meet. It's easier to push up all the pieces. We know exactly where they go. It's just a perfect fit. Like if you want to make a puzzle for a baby, this is how you would do it, right? Um, if you want to make it complicated and you know all that stuff, like you would cut all over the place, right? But we want to make it simple and we want to be able to push it up against each other and then tape it all together, which is what we're going to do now. We're going to tape from behind. So I'm just going to flip this over and flip these two pieces over. We're cutting from behind or we're taping from behind. And so because the scotch tape is going to be visible, even though it's clear, right? But against the black, it is very visible. So you want to, you want to grab two sheets at a time or two pieces and push it up against each other and then tape it down. On the edges, you're going to want to tape right at the edge because that's where this, there's no colors, no other pieces sitting at the edge, right? Because it's a black background or a black um, outline all the way around. So we want to make sure that it's taped so that it doesn't um, doesn't move at all or like bend so that it catches the light and makes us see it more. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to take this over. I'm going to take these two pieces and do the same thing. I'm going to press them up against each other and then tape it together. So let's tape somewhere over here. Oops. Then we're going to tape these two together. And again, on the edges, I'm just going to do another piece. Okay, so you see how it's all perfectly aligned. Everything looks good, right? We still have to do the head, which we will in a second. Let me show you what happened. So this is my second cut. Okay, everything looks great, right? Let me move this aside. <clears throat> My first cut, I did every, I mean, obviously everything the same, right? But check this out. So here are my four pieces, right? These two pieces look good. But then I have these two pieces. This piece 
if you can see, is somehow longer than this piece. When we know the four corners met, right? Then check this out. So we've got this. We can see this doesn't align, right? And then I put this piece in and it goes out this way, right? Um, then I thought, okay, <laughs> I don't know what happened. So not only is it off this way, right? There's more over here. There's more coming down over here as well. It's just, it's just funky, right? So let me move this up a little bit. So then I thought, okay, I don't know what's wrong with this piece. You know, do I do something like this and patch it up and make it work? The four corners, it's not really four, four corners like meshing together, but this also fits, right? So then I brought in, I started putting the pieces together and I realized it's totally messed up because if I did it this way, I don't have a black outline right here. There's no, here, let me turn it around so you can see. See, it's not, it's not coming out. So all I did was I went back to my original project and then just to make it easier on myself, I deleted everything but the black pieces and then I literally just recut it and then it came out perfectly. So sometimes, and I've had this happen before too, I've noticed where like, I've never had it so obvious like this, but I've noticed where like one piece is just slightly off and I'm like, did I accidentally resize it before I went to the cutting mat? I don't know, but this is just, this was not me because I recut everything. I mean, just look at that obvious. I mean, I just couldn't, I could not believe that this is what happened. Completely off. All right. So I just wanted to tell you, I, I thought about not recutting it and trying to make it work with this. Um, but then I thought, well, I don't have a solution for you. So I went and recut it. All right. So now that we've got our piece right here, I'm going to flip this over and add the head and then we'll, we'll do, and then we'll start piecing it together. The fun part. Okay. I thought about taking scissors and trimming. I don't know. I was all over the place trying to make this work because I didn't want to redo the whole project. That's going to be ridiculous. Okay, let's start and putting all the pieces together. This one is super, should be super fun, super easy because there's only so many pieces to him. So sometimes, you know what? We just need a little break and have like an easy project. <laughs> and I say that because um i have another project that's coming out it's a humongous gingerbread house um and that one was 38 cutting mats 38 12 by 24 cutting mats which it, that's not exactly a true statement because i think there were some pieces where it's only a 12 by 12 but there were a lot of pieces that were uh, definitely required that, you know, filled up the full thing. And it assumed that I was using 12 by 24 cardstock, which means some of those turned into, um, more than one mat because I had to move the pieces because there was something cutting. It, it would only work if it cut through the 12 by, you know, the 12 inch line, which would then give us a seam and we wouldn't want that. So, so I would say, you know, 38 cutting mats is probably accurate. Okay. So, I mean, look at how easy everything, you know, it's evenly aligned. Um, let's put these pieces down. And then once I put this down and I saw that the, that the arm fit, I was like, okay, thank goodness. All right, let me make, I'm gonna have my, I have design space open so that I can see the image up on my screen. So I, um, 
I never tape when I first put these pieces down because I want to make sure that everything is um, aligned properly. Because once you tape it down or glue it down, you're, <laughs> you're pretty stuck. And so I don't want to be stuck. I want to make sure that everything is, is even and it looks good. All right, let's see. What else do we have here? He's such a cute, fun character. I love it. Okay. And you see how like we need to make some adjustments here so that's why it's you know it's really important to not to not tape down right away because it's just slight adjustments that totally make or break <laughs> you just see or at least I do I mean uh, maybe your average party attendee is not going to notice these little things but I can't help but my eyes go straight like that's what I look for like okay it's cute and then second mode is like where are all the mistakes <laughs> I can't help myself so all right let's see here um this file is from Kayla from the Salty Yankee I love it she's you know she's just a great designer um the files are easy to work with. Um, and they look cute. So if you want to make this, this is you go to the saltyyankee.com, purchase her file, and then you can follow along my um, YouTube tutorial for design space and to put this together as we are now. I'm going to move this up a little bit and I'm going to do the belt. And okay, so the belt has a seam right here. I don't know if you how I'm having a hard time seeing my screen right now, but because there's a seam right here, this piece, what I did was I duplicated this piece, went to contour and contoured out everything so that I have a solid piece that goes like this. So now my seam is not noticeable at all right here there, well there's no seam here there's only a slight seam i'm gonna push this up a little bit more a slight one right here at the top but it's so small yeah i can't even notice it and then the running down below right here which that's not where your eyes are drawn to so all right um Here's the belt. So I think the belt, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some foam tape and have it sticking up. So I'm gonna have the foam tape on all the black pieces and then double foam tape for the buckle so that it stands out a little bit. All right, let's make our adjustments. I feel like I'm seeing a little bit too much black right there. So I'm gonna move this over a little bit. All right, everything actually looks pretty pretty good. Uh, there's too much black right here, you can see that, compared to this side. So I just want to move that over a little bit. I think everything else looks good. There's a little bit too much black right here. This cuff, I don't know, it's giving me a hard time. Let me move this down a little bit. All right, now, now it all looks pretty good, I think. Yeah, I think it does look really, really even and perfect. I love this green. This is shimmer green. And then we've got a holly thing that we're gonna work on in a second. But let's, 
let's do this now. Okay, so this is, these are big pieces and also like it's perfectly aligned right now. So I don't even actually, wait, hold on. The thumb is a little bit off. Now I'm being like very critical, right? Okay. Yeah, that looks better. Actually still even a little bit. See, okay, now it's perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna take my glue and because the pieces are kind of big, I'm gonna lift it up like this. And just glue down a little bit at a time. And then we'll deal with the pieces afterwards. This will help us keep the alignment. Oops, and I already shifted that. So let's move this back. I'm going to take this little piece, oops, see, and I, it's so easy to shift these pieces. And this is a little bit different than how I've been doing it, right? So we've got that piece, these three pieces, let's do this hand. And now that I'm secure that this middle piece is down-ish, <laughs> I'm just gonna take up this whole piece. And this piece was kind of, you know, be more difficult to, to bend, so. This is gigantic. So I am going to hold it like this, lift it up, And I do love Barely Art Glue for this project. I know that my cardstock's not gonna warp. Um, and it's gonna look really, really good. All right. So I'm gonna pull this off. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe you can see it against here a little bit. There, this shimmer paper has like, um, <clears throat> like a little plastic to it, like on the top, the, the the finished coat. So sometimes it doesn't cut all the way through. So I'm just gonna take this and get rid of that because against the black, I can see it and I don't like it. <laughs> okay. I'll put this back down. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna lift up this top part and get the shoulder down. All right, <clears throat> gosh, <coughs> excuse me. Um, okay, we've got most of this down. We don't have the belt, but the belt is gonna be, you know, with foam, foam tape. So I'm gonna move this down a little bit <laughs> so cute. All right, I am going to do this piece now. So, you know, I didn't use any glitter cardstock on him. Um, I did use it on the holly or on the, yeah. Oh, see, oh, my belt just came off. Oh, let me pull up these pieces. Okay. Um, I feel like there's too much right there, right? So I'm gonna have to adjust the face in a little bit. I'm gonna do this side. Good. 
good. Oh, I didn't do this piece. Oh, these two pieces I didn't do. Okay. Okay, so. Let's do this. The other thing is with the shimmer paper, because it's thicker, but it's light, like the color. If you use your hot glue gun on this, you're going to see the heat come through. Um, it will change the color a little bit. And what I can do is, hold on, let me get a piece, scrap piece. Okay, so here's our scrap piece of paper. And don't mess up. <laughs> this is when it's going to make me a liar. All right, so I'm going to put down... All right, it's hard to tell, but you can see a little bit of my glue lines. It's slight, but I can totally see like my scribble. So um, it's like an in-person kind of thing. I don't think you were able to see it on the ca on camera, but trust me that it was there. <laughs> Okay, um, I don't know if you can tell, but this like this really thin corner, like it lifted up a little bit. If you can't get this back down and fix it, I think it's less annoying to actually just trim it off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna trim it just a little bit. It's just, you know, this project is not hard at all, as you can tell, um, but it's just uh, the little steps that we take to make sure that all the pieces look really, really good, and then it just becomes a beautiful, big character, and it looks great in all the photos. Okay, so that's down. Let me get this thumb down, and for the thumb, I am going to use my little tool. Now for a piece like this, I do want the glue going all the way to the edge. So what I do is I'll grab a post-it note and then I'll dab off the glue to make sure it's everywhere. And then I'll put down my thumb. Okay, so now let's move this down. Let's work on this face a little bit because I messed up on this one. And I think that looks good. So I'm gonna turn this over this way just so that I can have access to it. I'm gonna put my hand down and lift this up so that it stays in place, but that I'm gluing it down. The nice thing about the face is not every not every square inch of it needs to be glued down and it's going to stay down. So that looks good. Let's adjust the hat and then check on the hair. I think that all looks good. So I'm going to, because it's so hot, I mean, you need all these tools. This is the We Are Memory Keepers Quick Stick, and it's just going to help me pick up this ear, which once I picked it up, I'm going to use my tongs. Put this down. And it 
do this ear. That's the other thing that I like about using Barely Art glue versus double-sided tape or a glue gun is I have a window to make my adjustments. So. Okay, let's do the hats. This little thin part, I'm gonna do that post-it note trick. So I'm gonna put some glue on, but I don't want the excess to come oozing out. So I'm gonna grab my post-it note, which I don't know what I did with it at this point. Oh, okay, I did it right here. <laughs> right underneath my project, hold on. And now time for the hair. Okay, so for the hair, it's big enough that I'm just gonna go all the way around. It's easy enough to see where, so I'm not too concerned. Perfect, right? Okay. So we know the face is down. We got to put the inside pieces, but now let's go and fix, or not fix, but like finish putting the glue on all these pieces. good <laughs> all right let's see is this all down nope. okay. and I didn't even put glue in the middle it's we don't need it it's not going anywhere Gonna turn this around to make it easier on us. Oh, let's get this down.
right, he is down. Look at how good. <laughs> okay, let's work on the belt. Okay, so here are our pieces. So this belt, what we can do is we can put some foamies on here. So let me grab some. With foamies, you want to put pressure on there, get it to stick. This, uh, the cubies are from Barely Art, and you can see when I'm using Barely Art, I'm not worried about reinforcing the, the stickiness. It's super, super sticky. So I'm just gonna press down. So we just have an eighth of an inch here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put foamies on the back of here. On this one, I'm gonna use just the bigger ones. These are from the Dollar Tree. I'm just getting, you know, I don't always use my super high quality ones. <laughs> um, I am gonna put a little bit of glue on this though. You see how the adhesive lifted off? Look at that. I'm not not happy with that. Um, let's see. This goes okay. This piece and I'm missing a piece. No! <laughs> what happened to my other? Why does that happen to me? It was here, remember? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it fell on the floor. Okay, these little pieces we're gonna put um, just a little bit of foam tape. on this side and we're almost done so stinking cute okay so I'm gonna get rid of this and then we're gonna do the face the face and then the foam board and then we're done yeah <laughs> so good all right let's get our eyebrows in so I, you know, like I was saying, I didn't use any glitter uh, glitter paper, which is very rare. I used it on, I'm gonna show you in a second when we get to it, the, the holly. But on his face, I love this shimmer paper. So it's, it's not dull, um, but I didn't want it to be distracting with like the, the normal pretty brown glitter cardstock that I use. Um, his eyes, let's see. Okay. 
identical. They're almost so I'm gonna do the eyes. I'm gonna use this so I can get my placement. I'm gonna shift this a little bit so it's closer to me. Oh, you know what? I take it back. His eyes, the blue I did in glitter cardstock. I love this glitter cardstock color. It is from Ground Up Creations, and it's this blue that is just gorgeous. Okay. Okay, the only thing left is we have the little dots to put on the eyes. So I think what I'm gonna do is, let's see. I'm actually gonna put the glue here. His eyes look so good. Okay, um, the mouth is gonna be tricky. There's a lot of open space. So, <clears throat> I wanna make sure, I can't even tell which side is which. I don't think it matters. Okay, so we've got that. Okay, we've got this. looks good right okay let me check and see let's see if it's this way it's hard to tell let me see if I can see it how does that look that looks pretty good huh okay so let's do this piece first Take my, where is my post-it note? Here we go.
That looks good. Okay, let's see. Maybe move it down just a little bit. Okay, so let's do this piece. This tip is driving me crazy, so I'm going to cut off a little bit. Lifting up a little bit. Let me add some glue right there. Okay, so he's done except for this little piece right here. So I wanted this to pop out a little bit. So I think. I think having it on foam tape will help right here and then yeah let's do that let's get everything down let's use foam tape And this red right here is the same as this. It's this shimmer paper. So it's got like a glittery look to it, but it, it's uh, super smooth because it has that smooth finish on top. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's get some more foamies on here, cubies. That looks so good. I don't know if you can see it, but it pops up a little bit. I love it. And I also, I mean, as you can tell, I'm putting it where I don't need to make any adjustments to the size. And because these pieces are kind of small, um, the weight's not gonna make it uneven or anything. And, so you're totally fine like this is probably not the most ideal placement but i also don't want to trim my my cubies looks so good um
Look how pretty, oh my gosh. I love that it's a different green. Um, okay, so I have some extras. So I sort of want to, I wonder if we could see how that gives it a little bit more. I think I'm gonna just glue the bottom and then curl this myself just like this, just so that it pops up a little bit. Okay, so let's try that. Just to make it pop a little bit. I love it. Right? I love it. I love it. Okay, so let's put some foam tape on the back of this and then we can. And I don't want to press down too hard because I've got these curled up pieces. So because I'm not applying any pressure to this, I am definitely going to be putting my hot glue gun to make sure that the foam tape's not going anywhere and then I'll put some on here. Oh my gosh, I love it. He's done other than putting the foam the foam backing on here so let's do that okay so he is 30 inches the board is 30 inches so we can I'm going to do yeah, this. Then he's totally, completely on there. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to grab a pencil. And normally I've been doing it on a blackboard, but my blackboards are um, in a box. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So <clears throat> I'm going to grab <clears throat> a blue pencil. And I'm just doing an outline because I'm gonna cut inside of this line. I'm not worried about it. And the reason why we cut inside the lines is um, because we don't want it showing. And also, the purpose of the foam board is to make it sturdy. It doesn't need to be 100% covered to be sturdy. It could be 90% and it would be totally fine. So I'm going to move this for now. <clears throat> and you can see him, right? Okay. So I'm going to get out my favorite 
knife from <laughs> Excel Blades, and you'll know why. Once you use it, you can't go back to anything else. All right, I'm just gonna start cutting. easily I cut right it's super smooth um, it totally makes a difference so I'm gonna cut inside the lines and I want you know just sort of like a continuous cut so I'm gonna go from up here staying inside the lines I'm not too worried about getting close to the uh, to my pencil mark I'm just making a general cut like this is going to be good enough to support my pieces. I don't need the hair to, you know, like curve around each tendril kind of thing. So that was my fault for trying to make that crazy curve there. <laughs> okay. Okay, this bottom part, I'm going to try to stick on the line so that um, there is support instead of, cause it's gonna, for me, I'm gonna put this down and it's gonna sit on top of the table. So I want the foam board to support my image and save my cardstock. Why is this? Oh, I didn't cut it all the way through. It wouldn't let me lift, okay. So I'm gonna try to stick on the line. pretty easy, right? It's actually really fast. I get a lot of questions on that because people have a hard time getting a smooth cut and it's because your, your blade's not sharp enough. Okay, so I've got coverage down here. I think this is good. Okay, so because this has a tip up here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue it down from up here first. So I'm gonna add my glue here. And now that that's down, I'm gonna give it a couple seconds to dry. And then, oops, I have a little white right here. So I'm gonna lift this up and cut that. Just a little bit showing through, do you see it? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up and just start gluing it little by little because your glue gun, this glue is going to dry quickly. So you can't do the whole board, but you can do little by little and it will be supported. So I'm going to put some glue on here. My 
post-it note. Hold up. Okay. Wow. Did I get... I missed and actually got it on my... My self-healing mat, which is not a big deal, except that it stains. All right. I got it up with my fingers. Blah. <laughs> okay. Let me get another glue stick. I mean, now it's so easy to lift him up, right? Oh, and look at the the shimmer. I love it. Ta-da! <laughs> so here we go. That is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Gosh, this one was so, I mean, it was so fun. I just still cannot in my mind get over the fact that Cricut totally just cut that the way they wanted to. And it was just so off. It was ridiculous. Um, but now we know easily solvable. We don't even need to redo the project. We just need to recut those pieces. So, all right, comments, questions, please post them below. Um, any special requests, that too. Happy holidays.